You may have heard of a new dangerous form of oil and gas drilling called hydraulic fracturing. And I bet there's a lot of concern at the dinner table about hydraulic fracturing, or as it's more commonly referred to, fracking. That's why we thought it was the right time to explain to you the basic science of fracking. So what is fracking? Well, fracking is the process of injecting water, sand, and chemicals at high pressures into the ground to fracture rocks and release oil and gas within them. But chemicals can spill and toxic waste can leak, and toxic pollutants can come up from the well into the air. The chemicals could be anything from endocrine disruptors to hydrofluoric acid to carcinogens and other cancer-causing chemicals. As for water, each frack job uses an average of a million gallons of water. Now that's a lot of water, especially when Californians are in the middle of the worst drought in decades. Fracking also produces wastewater. Hey, what is wastewater? That's a good question. After fracking, a toxic cocktail of containments from deep underground, sometimes including radioactive materials like barium, strontium, and radium-226, they all come up to the surface along with some of the toxic chemicals in the fracking fluid. Then the wastewater is dumped into open pits which can pose hazards to wildlife and groundwater. And if they don't put the toxic waste in leaking pits or tanks, they inject it deep back into the ground. And guess what? Scientists have now linked that deep well injection of fracking waste to earthquakes. Yes, you heard it here first. I said earthquakes. Because nothing makes more sense than creating more seismic activity in a state that's been fearing the big one for over a century. Arr People living in close proximity to fracking operations have also experienced a variety of illnesses including headaches, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, and rashes. So let's review. Fracking uses a lot of water. Water we just can't spare. It contaminates it with toxic chemicals, it releases global warming pollution, and keeps us addicted to fossil fuels at the same time the experts say we need to move to clean energy sources. Oh yeah, and it may cause earthquakes. So this is a toughie. What can we do? ban fracking, and use more solar, wind, geothermal energy, and anything else instead. To learn more about how you can stop fracking in your town and promote clean energy, go to www.environmentcalifornia.org.